Hi folks, it's Evo here from Thunamis Lure Company and welcome to today's episode of Thunamis Fishing Tips. So glad to see you. I am totally excited because November is now upon us. The salmon fishing has slowed down and the trout fishing folks is picking up big time. And today folks, we're looking for trout. I'm going to be bottom bouncing uh, a row bag and of course I'm using the T-turn and that's going to be the technique today. We're up here in the Niagara River and uh, my rig is the T-turn I'm using folks. It's uh, size small t-turn I like the size small the extra small or the medium size and as you know the t-turn keeps you tangle free which is perfect for these river conditions especially this bottom bouncing technique and uh, the other thing I really like about the t-turn if you've never seen it it's all black which has a very low profile in the water um, so as these trout are a little bit skittish it, uh, it just helps in that regard so then I've gone down to a size 6 hook and uh, I like to run the size 6 or actually even a size 4, a little bit bigger folks, uh, when it comes to bottom bouncing for trout. You don't necessarily really need one of those tiny hooks and I like to have a little bit more hook gap. So, um, and then I've got about 2 foot, 2, 2 and a half feet of line to, uh, to a sinker. And then I've got a little bit of a shorter line to my hook. And all I'm doing folks is just casting it up river and then just letting that sinker bounce along the bottom as you feel it hit, just lifting it up, bouncing it along the bottom. And what'll happen is the trout are sitting in the rocks out of the current and they'll see that roll bag drifting by and they will just attack it. And that's what I'm gonna set the hook. So it's a great November. It's one of those misty, showery November days. Seems like we've had a lot of rain here in November so far, uh, but that's okay. It makes for a great trout fishing weather. It's cold, it's damp, but I love it. Stay tuned, folks. We're looking to have a great day on the water. Oh, there we go, folks. There's a bounce, bounce hit right there. Oh, just as it was tumbling along the bottom, he picked it up. That was really nice. Feels like a decent fish, folks. Now, all I'm running today, I'm just running mono. I've got eight pound mono line that I'm running. And I like it because it has a little bit of stretch to it. If you're going to run braid, and you know I like to use braid as well, just make sure that you've got a long mono or fluorocarbon leader because you want a little bit of that give. When these trout are fighting with those all those head shakes like they give, because there's no give on the braided line, oh boy, this guy's taking a run. Oh, there's a little jump. <laughs> With the braided line, because it's no give, if you have mainly braid, and they're doing all those shakes, they'll shake the hook right out of their mouth. Because there's no give, it'll just pull it right out. So if you're gonna run braided line, just make sure you have an extra raw, a long mono or floral leader, so that you got a little bit of that give. I feel like it's, I got a nice fish here, folks. Picked up that row bag really nicely. Nice fresh salmon roll, and you know when you're when you're uh, putting those roll bags on, don't worry about it. You're going to poke through one or two of those eggs. That's quite all right because it's going to release a little bit of scent, and of course you've got a lot more eggs in that sack, so you've got a lot in there. Don't worry about it. I've got a nice fish on here, folks. I think I got a steelhead. I think we shall see. Oh, this is. It's November, it's wet, it's cold, it's damp, and I love it. This is phenomenal, folks. <laughs> That's great. Go on, Mr. Trout. What a nice fight he's given me. And he's taking drag again. <laughs> Whoa! These fish are strong, folks. They're really strong fish. They gotta be, they're fighting this current all day long. And like I say, when you're bottom bouncing like this, you're covering a lot of ground. And you're bouncing over top of rocks and those trout, they sit in the rocks out of the current to take a break. <laughs> and they see your, your row bag come by and they just attack it. I've seen a nice silver flash, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna think it's a, it's a nice steelhead. And he just does not want to come in. 
there he goes again. <laughs> this, is, this is a lot of fun, folks. This is a lot of fun. Oh, look at that bird! He's gonna, he's gonna, he's gonna attack my, he's gonna attack my throat. I just can't get him in. And of course, with the later mono, you got to be careful too. You don't want to break him off. Okay, he's starting to come in a bit here now. Oh, he's not even that big. Look at this. What a fighter. Can you imagine? Wait till you see the size of this trope. I'm not going to believe the fight he gave me. Look at that. That's a beautiful, beautiful steelhead. Look at that. Oh, yes, folks. That is one real nice steelhead. Let's go get him on land take a look at him. Okay. Okay. <laughs> look at that. There we go, folks. There's a nice steelhead right there. Isn't that a beautiful fish? Absolutely gorgeous. Look at that. I love it. He gave me a nice fight. And look, he's not even that big. What a beautiful fight. That is a nice eater right there, folks. And you know, if you haven't seen it yet, I've got a fantastic recipe for cooking trout. I'll put a link here for you. You can check it out because uh, it's really good and that's going to make for a real nice meal tonight. For me, that's for sure. Nice, fresh steelhead. And lay a little hook set right in the side of the mouth. Oh, there we go. Get that out. There we go. And now I'll be able to get back out there again. But what a gorgeous fish right there, folks. You get an opportunity. If you put your boat away or you're a boatless angler, there's a lot of fantastic fishing in November. Don't miss out on it. Get out there, get a line wet. Don't worry about the weather. Just dress for it and have yourself a great day. I'm having myself a great day ever. So glad you could join me. Always a pleasure to see you folks. And as always, until next time, good luck and good fishing. What a beauty.